In this part of the chapter, we shall learn how to find the gradients of curves using tangents. A tangent is a line drawn to touch the curves at points A, and it will be called the tangents to the curve at A. For example, we have a cubic function here, and we are asked to draw the tangents at x equals to 3. So at x equals to 3, we have these points here. We need to draw a line that touches these points. And the line will look like this. Now, even though it touches the curves at x equals to 3, it may cut the curve at other points. Well, that is acceptable. And in this case, we have the tangent cutting the curves at these points here. Now, for us to have a better understanding of tangents, let us look at another example. Here, we are asked to draw the tangents at x equals to 4. At x equals to 4, we have these points here on the curve and the tangent will touch the curve at these points. Now, let us zoom into this area here to see how the tangent looks like. Now, since the tangent touches the curve at only one point here, x equals to 4, well, this is acceptable. Now, what about this? Instead of touching it at one point, it actually cuts through x equals to 4, and therefore, this is not a tangent. Finally, what about this? Similar to the previous example, it also cuts through a series of points here, and therefore it is not acceptable. Now, for any curve, there's an infinite number of tangents, and hence at different points of the curve, there will be different gradients. Now, let us look at how to draw a tangent. To draw a tangent at x equals to 2, we shall first use a ruler. Then we will use one hand to hold a pencil at x equals to 2. Next, we shall rotate the ruler and push it towards the point x equals to 2. And we can now go ahead to draw our tangents. Now, while rotating the ruler, do ensure that the line and the ruler only touches the curve at x equals to 2 instead of cutting through that point. Next, let us look at how to find the gradients of the curve using the tangents. The first example, we are asked to find the gradients at x equals to 2. Previously, we have already drawn the tangents here. Now, in order to find the gradients, we need to write down any two coordinates of the tangents. In this case, I will write down these coordinates 935 and 0 0.6, negative 16. Do you remember how to find the gradients of this straight line? Yes, we will use the formula y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now, do remember, if you start the y value here, you must also start the x value here. And we will have 35 minus negative 16 over 9 minus 0 0.6 and we will have 6.07 and therefore the gradient at this point here will be 6.07 Let's look at another example here How do we find the gradient at x equals to negative 1? First, we need to draw a tangent at x equals to negative 1 Now, even though it cuts the curve at other points, it is fine Next, we write down any two coordinates on the tangent. And I have chosen these two points. To find the gradients of this tangent, we shall now use the formula. And we will have this. By pressing your calculator, we found that the gradients at this point x equals to negative 1 will be negative 5. Finally, we shall look at the gradients of the curve at x equals to negative 1.8. To find the gradients, we will need to draw the tangent at x equals to negative 1.8. And we have a horizontal line. Therefore, you know what is the gradients here at x equals to negative 1.8? Yes, the gradients is simply equals to 0. In summary, in order to find the gradients at point A, we will first need to draw a tangent that touches the curve at this point A here. Now make sure that it does not cut through any other points near to A and that it only touches A. 
Finally, to help us to find the gradients, we will need to use the formula y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 by using any two coordinates on the tangents. And that's all for this chapter.